year, I could not be more clueless as to what the next stage of my life looks like. I am jobless, boyfriendless, 15 pounds heavier than when I first arrived in Duke. <laughs> I haven't hooked up in a really long time, and my grades were a lot better in high school. <coughs> By your standard Duke measure of success, I wouldn't say I've failed, but I'm certainly not the poster child the Office of Alumni Affairs will be using next year. <laughs> <laughs> the expectation of taking those boxes, job, boyfriend, workout schedule, daily regimen of coffee and salads from ADP, <laughs> dressing on the side, a text from that cutie and stats, as well as that outfit that I, in all honesty, probably couldn't afford, drove my decision making for a long time. My junior year, I had almost every box ticked. And I was also deeply unhappy. My internship bored me. My boyfriend at the time was mediocre at best. <laughs>
It is being excited walking into a classroom. It is getting your butt kicked by a professor who demands the best of you, and it is the sense of pride that comes after having achieved it. It is reading a book in bed with my mom, and it is playing Scrabble with my dad. It is going against what my parents think is right for me, and instead trusting my gut. It is coming home after a bad day to the smell of freshly baked cookies that my roommate left next to sunflowers in a vase. Just because. It is watching Duke beat UNC. <laughs> <laughs> it is stopping to look at the chapel. It is snow days. <laughs> it is tearing up. In my senior year, I could not be more clueless about what the next stage of my life looks like. I am jobless, boyfriendless, 15 pounds heavier than when I first arrived at Duke. I haven't hooked up in a really long time, and my grades were a lot better in high school. And that's okay. I have made a lot of mistakes. And I would not take a single one back. <coughs> would you? <laughs> <laughs>